background. Like I did the artwork on Liberty Bell Temple on the windows and on the interior. Um, so I've known Ed since Los Angeles, basically. And, uh, you know, and since he's been going through his journey, so to speak, uh, I've been helping uh, at his request. You know, he'll send me letters and stuff asking about, like, um, asking me to draw graphics and stuff for, for his, um, for, you know, whatever situation he's going through. Battle of Trenton, uh, that's on the side of the, of the joint in uh, Trenton. Um, that was planned pretty much since last year. And um, so we always knew we were gonna put that image together. That image, um, you know, was already complete, but then this project came about because he just got this, uh, this property here, um, I guess it's a few weeks ago, <laughs> a week or two ago. <laughs> um, so I think, yeah, maybe two weeks ago. So he said, uh, so he was like, yeah, I want you to, you know, you know, he asked me if I'd be down to come down and, and, uh, and, and paint the front of it. Of course, I'm like, yeah. So he came up with the idea. I mean, he basically said he wanted these columns to look like it's supporting the roof uh, with the plants uh, kind of forming a reef in the background. Uh, the uh, key of life, the ankh at the top the center um, you know, I just kind of uh, put the colors together kind of like a grow light grow light pink and purple yeah you know like drawing drawing uh, some cannabis plants all over the front of the, the joint of Miami <laughs> we are trying to wrap it up here um, still got some ways to go um, in terms of detail details in the plants yeah. I'm not trying to overload it with a bunch of details but you know it needs to be a little bit more than just graphic as it is on this first level uh, now but um, you know so I figure you know like uh, put some details in these columns just real light help them uh, give them some uh, giving them a little work and then uh, try to try to throw some like uh, darker colors into the into the plants. Give them a little depth. Help the help the leaves pop out a little bit. Um, and yeah. Way back in 1976, I probably spray painted my bicycle gold, and that's when I first started spray painting. And then by '83, I started tagging on stuff. After a trip to Japan and all of that stuff, and it's been a wrap since then. I've been I've been painting since pretty much since '83, and um, doing this graffiti thing and aerosol art. I don't know street art, whatever you want to call it. 